Welcome, everybody, to episode 65 of Disney with the Ducks. I'll be the host for tonight, John Crawl. Um, also got a bunch of wonderful co-hosts here tonight. Uh, let's let's welcome in um, our mystery co-host who's making his return after a few months. Triumphant yeah. return. Triumph, that's right. Well, well, Lonnie, hold on. Let's see if it's triumphant. Oh, we need yeah. the next hour or so to figure that out. <laughs> but Good point. We've, Good point. We've got Jeff back with us tonight. Hey, everybody. Um, before we get too deep, I just want to thank everybody for all the support and messages I got over the last few months. Um, really appreciated people who reached out. And hopefully for the old listeners, um, you didn't think it was better without me because I'm going to be back on. Um, for the new <laughs> listeners that we've picked up since then, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to tell you, but um, you're going to have to start to learn to deal with me too. So, But nice to be back and we'll head out and see what we can do yeah, and uh, Jeff, thanks for everything you did for all of us, too, while you were going through everything. You still edited all the shows, got them out on time, you know, made them sound uh, presentable, <laughs> which I think some of them when we recorded them were not. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah. So thanks so much for doing all that for us. Yep. All right. We've also got Jody B. Hi, friends. Got Lonnie G. Hello, everyone. And Mean Gene is with us, too. Howdy, howdy. All right. Well, tonight we're going to start off with another question of trying to get to know each other a little bit better and give our listeners some insight into our, our wonderful minds. Um, so tonight's question, Gene, what movie are you most looking forward to coming up? Uh, well, I saw I actually just saw the one that I was most looking forward to, and that was um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, but after that, I would say The Flash. I was not as excited as I as I was, as I am now, just I've heard it's. I heard somebody say that this will be ranked with Superman 1978 and Batman 89. This is that kind of movie. So it's I'm got Michael Keaton in it. it. It can't be a bad Batman. Yeah, that's, that's true. Be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, um, Gene. Real quick though, what did you think of Guardians? Uh, I mean, I loved it. Um, all three of them are great. I, I love the Guardians. It's a it's a different kind of story. They're not, you know, fighting uh, to save the galaxy. They're fighting to save a friend. And it's just got a, it's a different tone. Um, still funny, but I mean, it just, it's really good. They're, they're all good. I, I, I think I rated it to you guys eight out of 10, probably eight and a half with the other two being 10 out of 10. I don't know. Um, a friend of mine said, if you see it in the daytime and you're more wide awake, it's even better. So I'm going to do that because I saw it at 10 o'clock at night. It was rough. I did too. It was towards the end. It was a struggle to try to mm -hmm. stay awake, but I guardians after that movie is now my favorite group within the Marvel universe. Yeah. Um, I just, they were pretty close to the top before that, but man, that movie was awesome. Yeah. All right. Lonnie, what are you looking forward to? First things first. I want to say this about Gene going at 10 o'clock for you guys that know, don't know Gene. Let me help you get to know him better. Gene is notorious for falling asleep in movies. <laughs> <laughs> he is literally the, I mean, he can, he, he literally will put something on and fall asleep and then wake up when it's over and restart it saying what I missed. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that. So for him to go at 10, I'm pretty sure he missed at least 20 minutes of that movie. I did not fall asleep. I didn't fall asleep. I, I fall asleep in many movies there. <laughs> <laughs> me, and, me and me and Gene went to many movies and there's some times I looked over and it's like this dude is sleeping <laughs> so uh, what I'm looking forward to um, you know what I'm actually looking for like Gene um, The Flash but I think even more than that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse mm -hmm. um, the new one that's coming mm -hmm. out uh, yeah. next month uh, in fact I think they started selling tickets for it now so I'm going to go ahead and grab my ticket really enjoyed that first one I like the, uh, the Miles Morales version of Spider-Man mm -hmm. and um, you know now with this new one uh, I'm looking forward to just seeing it and seeing how they uh, how they work it all in with all the different Spider-Man in one movie, right? So that's what I'm looking forward to. Spider people, They're Sp exactly Spider people. Because there was a on the trailer, spider. there was somebody that yeah. was a you know he he said I'm Spider-Man and she was like I am too. But so we got to just say yeah. Spider people, like Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider, whatever she's mm -hmm. going by these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Jody, what are you looking forward to? Um, I don't go to movies and I don't watch movies, so I have absolutely no idea what's coming out or what I would see. Next time I'll watch a movie, I'll be on a plane somewhere, whatever Delta happens to be showing. So no clue. I don't know what's out and I don't know what's coming out. I know Guardians is out and that's it. 
I couldn't tell you. So okay. And I don't know when I'm on my next Delta flight. I'll tell you what I watched. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's how I watched All right. So another thing about Jody, Jody has access to movies, and she still doesn't go. There you go. I, yeah, you I don't go. <laughs> My daughter works at a movie theater, theater and I don't go. Yeah, so she has access to just okay. go. She's still like, I'm not going. I'm just not, I, I can't do movies. I'm really good with series and shows. Like, give me a show, an hour or less is my attention span. Over the, More than that, I'm, I'm not my thing. Okay, so what show are you most looking forward to or a new season? Uh, I don't know. We just finished a show that was good, but I don't... Um, I don't know. I don't have one on my radar for next. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff. I don't, I'm like, not, I don't what know. You, just, you don't like to sit around staring at the TV like the rest no, of us? No, I just fell asleep on the couch staring at the TV. So clearly it doesn't keep my energy. Did a gene? Right. I am Gene. Gene and I are kindred spirits. We've got we, are, we, we, we know that already. Yes. Yes. Separated at birth. Yes, exactly. Two oh, identical man. people. Peas in a pod. All right, no, Jeff. What what do you what do you look forward to? <laughs> I'm kind of torn between two. Um, I'm really looking forward to Elementals or Elements that's coming out. It's a Pixar movie. Um, that looks really good. But clearly, the number one for me is going to be Indiana Jones this summer. Um, I'm hoping they rate the wrongs of the Crystal Skull because that mm. was a really really bad movie. Yeah. But mm -hmm. so hoping they fix that and come out with something more along the original trilogy and do justice to the series to wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. And Jeff, I'm with you on the Indiana Jones one. Um, I didn't realize it was coming out this year till we were talking before recording, but um, I loved the original trilogy. I think it might be my favorite trilogy of trilogy, like all the trilogies. So, so Riley presented to me that she says that that is the fever dream of Han Solo when he's in Art Carbonite. Yeah. It's the wow. whole that is deep. That, that is, is deep. deep. Because if there's throwbacks to Star Wars all through the movies. Mm -hmm. Because so. it's Lucasfilm, right? Yeah. Right. So of course, you're going to... Huh. I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> that Riley, she's a deep thinker. She but, is. Um, hmm. All right. Okay, so tonight's topic, though, we're going to talk about what's overrated and underrated, and we're going to do it on um, Disney restaurants. So we'll Thank be looking at... Thank goodness we're not doing movies, because I would just be sitting here yeah. staring at you all, because everything so... is overrated and <laughs> underrated, because I don't know. You would fall asleep yeah. while we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay so we're gonna kind of just go around and share uh some of our choices let's start with I, I think let's start with the overrated so we can get the negative out of the way and then focus the rest of the show on the positive side um if you guys are cool with that okay all right so gene what what do you think is overrated i'm sorry so I'm, underrated. I'm no guys i'm screwing oh, this all overrated up. right overrated correct yes yeah, it's okay we're, nobody's perfect, John. You're doing great. You're doing I'm great. I'm pretty Keep close, though. Good work, man. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit of hate for this because I think everybody here loves this restaurant, but Ronto Roasters to me is just, it's just kind of, it's kind of mid, you know? Hmm. It was on my list too, Gene. Yeah. For I can see that, really. I can it's see a hot that. dog. It's a hot dog. It's, just, and, it's a and, hot dog and a pita bread. Yep, There's nothing exactly exciting about right. it. Yep. Yeah. And for breakfast, it's got some eggs on it or something. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, but that breakfast is good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Huh. Wow. I, I totally agree with you, Gene. I think it's completely overrated. I think it's just bleh. I, I'm like, mm -hmm. there are so many better things to eat, and uh, I don't get the hype. I mean, I would rather spend my time walking around and seeing, you know, see if I can spot, you know, Kylo Ren or, you know, something. Somebody. I do know him because I did watch that movie. <laughs> You guys are lucky Kevin's not on tonight. I mean, this would be like fighting words you're throwing out. Oh, there. Woody. Uh, I actually had Ronto Roasters the last time with Kevin. That was the Kevin and Kevin and Gene, um, you know, an excellent adventure because <laughs> everybody else was somewhere else or sick. So we were just hanging out together, which, and we had a great time, but Ronto Roasters was not part of that great time. <laughs> All right. You guys shared a hot dog space <laughs> hot dog and uh then both came back <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't share one but yeah maybe, maybe that's that's lady the trip moment yeah. <laughs> right it's, it's fun, fun. I know that with a hot dog 
<laughs> I, I mean, honestly, guys, we would have a billion followers on TikTok if we had a video of that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that may be for Disney, Disney after or Ducks After Dark or something <laughs> after that episode. I want no part of that. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Oh boy! I, I okay. didn't know it was going to be that kind of party. Let's let's get this thing back on on track here. Um, Lonnie, what do you think is is one? What's one of your overrated restaurants? So I'm going to do what Gene did. Since he said Hollywood Studios, I broke mine down by the studios. So I'm going to go to Hollywood Studios, and the first one I'm going to say is Sci-Fi Dining. I mean, oh. come on now. It. I know. Once again, Gene and Kevin had a moment there we had in a the car. We shared a. We shared. We had a date. You did. So, you know, so, you know, but <laughs> they're in the back of the car uh, sharing a, a burger and fries and, you oh know, my God. Zuma's Revenge. <laughs> they got in the back of the car. So sci-fi dining, hard to get in. But when you get in, I mean, gosh, it's, it's burgers, right? Uh, I think it's good to go for just the ambiance. Uh, but guess what? I also put on this list in Hollywood Studios, Ogus Cantina. I'm with you oh, for sure. I think, yeah. So since Kevin's not on, I can say it. I put it down. If Kevin was in here, I wasn't going to say it. Olga's to me, overrated. Uh, and my uh, that's the two I got there. Don't turn oh, your back on the. Don't turn your back on the take over. Take your uh, leftover. Um, you know, Bantha. They did. We had. You know. They did. Drink. I turned that's around. Right. The guy came, took my drink. It was halfway. Mm. I only drank a half. Mm. He mm. took it. The, the thing that frustrates me about Olga's is it has such great potential. Like mm -hmm. it, it could be really fantastic because it is that old Star Wars, like from when I watched it when I was little, like it's got that feel and that vibe and it makes mm -hmm. you want to be there. But the drinks aren't that good. The food is terrible. And then mm -hmm. you feel rushed because you're, there's a time mm -hmm. limit there. And mm -hmm. I just I think it could be 10 times better than what it is. It just needs some tweaks. Yeah. You're right. I'm with you. Hey, I, I want to. I just want to make a point. I mean, you know, because that's what we do—a tangent. But it's not really a tangent. So, sci-fi dining theater. So, normally, if I would have eaten something and then gotten sick later, I was starting to feel bad at that point. You know, I would normally not want to eat that kind of. I had an experience with something that was grape flavored when I was a kid. I didn't eat grape for two, you know, fifteen years probably after that. Um, I uh, I'll eat a hamburger and french fries and a shake any day I, I thought it was great i thought it was a great atmosphere it was good enough that it didn't even it didn't mess up that meal you know even getting sick afterwards you know hmm. so that's just my take but lonnie i, I respect your opinion oh well, yeah yeah i mean you had both you guys had the two straws in there you know just like <laughs> sipping i mean you do you do what you do you know yeah, yeah. well no you got to have some romance in your life lonnie yeah. oh yeah i mean, I mean it's, yeah. it's dark in there it's in the back of a car yeah. i mean you go figure we weren't yeah. sitting in the back seat but you know <laughs> But it, eventually you did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it takes more than a burger and fries and a shake, pal. <laughs> Jody, what do you right. got as an overrated? So if we're sticking with Hollywood Studios. Um, I had Ronto Roasters as one of mine, but I also have as a hot take Woody's Lunch Box. Um, yeah. I think the food is mediocre. There's no seating. It's hot. It's blazing. Everything there. You can't mm -hmm. find a place to sit. Um, I think again, it, it could be really like, it's got that potential to be super awesome, but it's just, it just misses the mark for me and it's tater tots, which are great, but like they're, <laughs> they're, they're tater tots. They are. Um, and then my other overrated is fifties prime time. Ha -ha. I had that on my list, but I scratched it off. I, I had really? that on a list, but yeah. not the overrated list. I had the that on the Everybody list. talks about the chicken, the chicken is yeah. not that good to me. It is not yeah. I mean, you know. I, I, think, I thought it was fine. I just, you know, we finally went after all these years of hearing how, and maybe that's it. Like, that's what I thought about the movie Titanic. Everyone talked about it for yeah. so long. And I'm like, oh yeah. my God, make the boat just sink and get this movie over with. Like, that's I fair. thought it was the worst movie ever because everybody kept talking about forever. And I was like, Ugh. so maybe that's my feeling of 50 prime time is we finally went there and our server was great and everything was fine, but it was just, it, it just didn't. Didn't, I did like the shake, but um, you know, it really I, I just I thought if, with all the hype that it had, I just didn't find it that amazing. So Damn. those are mine for Hollywood Studios. Going back to your Woody's lunchbox, have you guys had the s'mores French toast? That's a the breakfast. What? It's only available for breakfast. The s'mores French toast. It's like graham cracker coated French toast with marshmallow and chocolate in the middle, and then it's all fried up. 
that's worth going to Woody's Lunchbox for. It's only I, had the, I, I had the loaded um, tater tots. Uh, they call them something else over there, but to me- Potato it, barrels. Potato barrels, barrels yeah. Potato and, barrels. and they just weren't, it was cold. It just wasn't good. To Jody's I point. think with that is like, they, they put all this stuff on top and then the potato barrels, Ooh, soggy. Like I don't want yeah. soggy, I want crisp potato barrels. So hmm. yeah, I've not had that breakfast, Jeff. I, um, but I'm not a big, huge sweets breakfast. Like I have more savory mm. stuff, but yeah, I haven't had it, but I, yeah, I'd, I'd try it. I mean, I wouldn't say no. It's got to be better than the breakfast Ronto wrap, right, Gene? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Can't be worse. I mean, <laughs> Pop Tarts better than that. <laughs> they oh, have which Pop-Tarts Woody's box? Yeah, Woody's lunchbox has wonderful. They do. All right, Jeff. What's your overrated? I don't have any from Hollywood Studios, John. So if you have Hollywood Studios, we can stay there. Oh. If not, I'll take off to somewhere else. I actually do. Um, okay, so go Brown ahead. You can go first, and then I'll go somewhere else. Okay, so I think Brown Derby is overrated. We heard so much good stuff about that place, um, and we finally went there, and I got the Cobb salad, and I was like, you know what? I mean, this tastes like any other Cobb salad I've ever had in my life. Um, and the service was just okay. Um, I did get a Manhattan. I thought that was really good, but I mean, that's that's a hard drink to screw up. It's got like two ingredients. Um, so, you know, I... Or three ingredients. But um, yeah, I, I just thought that, that was really disappointing to me. Hmm. So I'm going now. I, I the inside is okay, but I do love that lounge outside, that like little patio area. That I could sit the outside and have an appetizer and a drink and watch people for hours. That's one of my favorite mm-hmm. pastimes because that is some good people watching right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's different too, because yeah, the inside is like I don't know. I just expected more because you hear this is the best salad ever and blah, blah, blah. And it just, it was okay. Hmm. Fair enough. And Katie and the kids, they really weren't overly excited by whatever they got either. So, yeah. Not up to par right. chicken tenders. Um, <laughs> chicken tenders. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, they all got chicken tenders. Except Kara. <laughs> is she, that kid will eat like the fanciest thing she can find. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jeff, you said you didn't have any at Hollywood Studios. What's what's one of your overrated ones? Let's walk to Epcot, and we'll go from there. Um, okay. One of my most overrated ones was Space 220. Um, mm-hmm. The atmosphere was good. Uh, no pun intended. Ah. There. Um, but now, granted, we were there the first week it opened. Um, so maybe factor that in a little bit. It's expensive for what you get for it. Um, there was a t- table of seven of us that went. A table of about 13 of people that we knew came in about 20 minutes after us and were finished before we got our dinners. Yeah. So service was a little lackluster. Um, three of us had the steak, the same temperature. They all came out different thickness <laughs> and cooked completely different. Um, they were all supposed to be the same. Just inconsistencies. It just was very underwhelming for us. Well, I heard, I heard that food there was out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you wanted to scream, but in space, nobody, nobody heard you. Scream. Yeah, yeah. 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 Vacuum. Joey, that that's from Aliens. You don't watch that. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Oh, I thought you were just spitting out. <laughs> John, space John. <laughs> like, yeah, of course you can't. Can. It's, 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 it's a vacuum. It's a vacuum. We actually had a we had a good experience with space <laughs> um, I'm bringing you all back on the train. <laughs> Good oh my Lord. goodness! Let it out. <laughs> Go, John. Keep laughing. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Jody. I was just okay. saying, we had a good experience at Space Two Twenty. It was really overly priced, but um, we all enjoyed our, yeah. our food there. But um, yeah, we. I, I don't know that I'm going to run to go back because of cost of fortune. But we. But we were there well after it opened. So. Did you have dinner or lunch? <laughs> oh, that was good, Gene. See, when we went through our, me and Ryan talked about this this weekend of picking out our overrated and underrated. So when we looked at overrated, we looked at dining reservations that were hard to get that wasn't worth the meal to fight for the reservation for. And Space 220 was high on that list for us. Um, my other one at Epcot is Lake Bellier. That's always a tough to get. And the sticks were okay. It just, nothing special. It wasn't anything that I'd have to do again. And it just wasn't worth the fight for the reservation that you need to try to get into there. It's very small. Um, so they sell out very quickly for the reservations. And we we're just kind of underwhelmed. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. All right. Um, Jody, what do you do you have anything on Epcot? I, 
you know what? I really had a hard time at Epcot because um, I think I've shared with you all that we, I feel like we don't eat at the restaurants there very often because there's always some festival. So um, even going through the list of all the restaurants, I, I was like, gosh, we just really haven't been at a lot of them. So quite frankly, I didn't have a lot of underrated I, or overrated. Pardon me. I had one underrated, but no overrated. So okay. All right. I feel in the Epcot area. No, I'm in that boat too. I don't have any um, that I thought were overrated in Epcot. Um, Lonnie, do you do you have any overrated ones from Epcot? I do. And I'm going to put this out here so we don't get hate mail. <laughs> Uh, this is actually from my wife when I was telling her about the show and I said, yeah, I have to do overrated for all the parks. And she yelled this one out and she said, this is it. And it's Via Napoli. We went to Via Napoli and everybody talks about it. Um, and yet, and I know it's their little spill. The service is not the best. It's trying to be from here, but our, our pizza wasn't that good. She got the pasta that was kind of dry. Uh, so we left there with her saying, I'm never going back there again. Right. Usually she'll say I'll give another I'll give another chance to something, but she's like, I'm done with Via Napoli. So for her, I'm gonna say Via Napoli. Okay. And that's a hard reservation to get. So it is. Is it, is it really? It is. I've never been. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Gene, do you have any at Epcot? Uh I don't really have any that are overrated, no. Okay. I don't have right. a lot of over- well, let's go I don't to, have a lot uh, of to magic. Ones. Most of mine are underrated. I like food. I, do. I like food. We, yes. focus on the we have to help Gene out, though. So, Gene, when you're yeah. walking from Hollywood Studios to Epcot, what is that body of water you're walking by? Oh, Crescent Lakes, man. I mean, that's just where you, that's, you know. There you go. You walk there, by. there you and go. Crescent Lakes, that whole area, that's a Crescent Lake area, you know. Uh, the boardwalk, you know, yacht club, yacht, yacht, all that, you know, beach, all that. Bingo. Mm-hmm. Who had it on their bingo card? Uh, Swan, and, Swan and Dolphin. A lot of good restaurants in the Swan and Dolphin, too, by the way. There are. Oh boy. Okay. Um, but why don't we talk about what we think is overrated at Magic Kingdom? Does anybody have any from Magic Kingdom they want to throw out there? I think Cinderella's Royal Table is overrated. I think it's a restaurant you have to do because you have to say you've eaten in the castle, but it's kind of overpriced for the food you get. It's very hard to get into. And we did it when Riley was little and haven't been back. And I don't see me having meals in there anymore. Wow. See, I really mm-hmm. like it. I, I mean, the food is, I, I would say, okay, um, not worth the price, obviously, but you're paying to be in the castle. It's the most amazing thing ever. One time. I don't know. But then you don't I need don't to know. do it anymore. I love, I love it. But also, I have to give each of my kids that one time, so I'll be doing it for the next 27 years. <laughs> um, all right. Anybody I, I'm else? With you. I'm with you, John. I like it. I, like, I, 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 I think the lunch and dinner there is pretty good. I had some... I had fish twice there, and it was fantastic both times. So, uh, I put Liberty Tree Tavern for being overrated. I know Jeff. I know it's not. It's not you. It's me. But uh, Jeff and I actually went there. Uh, not like Gene and Kevin, <laughs> but we went there after a marathon to to eat, and I just wasn't impressed. I don't know if it's because my stomach wasn't right still, but when I ate it, I don't know if you realize that I didn't really eat a lot of the stuff. I just didn't like it. So uh, I think it's a little because everybody was talking about it. Right. Jeff oversold it. And then I was disappointed. Are you, are you, you're pulling a gene, Lonnie, because we ate at Columbia Harbor House after the marathon. They're different. But it's not okay. the same place. OK, Columbia Harbor House is my overrated. <laughs> and for the same reason, because. Oh, I thought I only made mistakes like that. <laughs> oh, Mr. no, you make, Disney, you, make, Disney expert. you make mistakes a lot. I don't like Liberty Tree either, but Columbia House. <laughs> It's you really, I was really trying to figure out when we ate at Liberty Tree together. So, so they, they have the record and tape clubs and they have the restaurant, Columbia House? Yes, they, they do have the record. You get, you get 12 <laughs> CDs or tapes for one penny, but you got to buy like 10 more over the next three years. Yeah. And those that's are like really you. marked up. Yeah, that's really how they get up. you. Yeah. Yep. So Columbia Harbor House didn't like that <clears throat> and Liberty Tree. But t- Jeff, in all fairness, man, I was like literally zoned out. You got to get I was like, you know, but it was yeah, a rough so, weekend. It was a rough weekend. So, uh, did you eat a hush puppy? I did. <coughs> I, 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 in fact, what did I, get? I got the chicken and shrimp, and they had the hush puppies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't like it. All right. Well, I don't know. I disagree. I like that place, but it's fun. <laughs> everything we say is underrated. John comes back in and says he likes it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I, I he's like not, he's not like, he's not gonna um, go with your negativity. He's not he's not, no. not swayed by you, you know, know 
Well, wait till you hear uh, hear this, Gene. Um, so Tony's Town Square, I'm going to say, is overrated. And I think it's rated very low by people. And if it was rated absolutely zero, I would still say this restaurant <laughs> is overrated. Wow. It is the worst food I've had at Disney, period. I had an amazing time there because I was. it was after the marathon. I was with some lizards. Um, we were having a good time. The service was actually really good, too, which is why I kind of feel bad saying the restaurant is overrated, even with the zero stars. But, man, <laughs> I just I, I thought it was terrible. So, yeah, that's going to be mine. And that kills me because that's one of my favorite movies. And I want to eat there so bad just because. Nope. It's like, but I, I can't do it. Have I you don't ever like had pasta food? out of a box from the grocery store? that you overcooked <laughs> that's what Ma- it was mama mia yeah and that location has so much potential exactly. that they just ruined mm-hmm. it with that restaurant no, there yes and then the sauce was like they put ketchup on it with possibly a little bit of basil but yeah it was uh it was just not it was no good i didn't like it so so i listened to a review yeah. a couple of months ago and apparently they changed the the menu a lot so we're gonna. I'm gonna have to ask you to go back again, John, and check in on your next trip because I heard it's a lot better now than it was before. But you're right. We I, need I, to I change the before. chef a lot. That's yeah, I need to change yeah. change the chef. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, I'll check it out again. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. That's gonna be. It, it's tough because it's it's expensive. It's a um, a sit down restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. Mm-hmm. You expect a little more. That's yep. all. I don't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, any other ones from Magic Kingdom? I, I haven't done mine. Oh, what do you got, Jody? Uh, Pecos Bills. I do not understand why people like Pecos Bills. They're like, oh, it's great. I'm like, no. Taco Bell has better Mexican food than Pecos <laughs> Bills. It is not good. There's, I don't care if it had the fixing bars or not. It's not delicious. It is greasy, gross, no flavor. You want to talk about making something out of a box that I, I could... Yeah, no. Mm-mm. There's so many other better places to eat, and Pecos Bills is not it. One of my children threw up there too. Oh, uh, which I mean, honestly, is the case of a lot of Disney restaurants. But yeah, (laughs) but that's one of the ones that I can't go back to because all I see is, you know, that mess. I bet they didn't throw up at Taco Bell because Taco Bell is good. No, yeah, so it's pickles. Throws up at Taco Bell. Taco Bell's delicious. Oh yeah, Mexican pieces came back. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, Anything else for Magic Kingdom? Okay, uh, Gene, let's did go. You have one? Say again. Did you have one for Magic Kingdom? I don't have one that's underrated. No. Okay. All right, let's go over to Animal Kingdom. Are there any overrated ones for Animal Kingdom? Yeah, I got a couple. You do? Okay, Gene, what do you got? Ooh. Yeah, so um, I mean, this one—I don't even know if it's still there anymore. But, but we went when, when the kids were little, and uh, Rainforest Cafe when it was there. Is it even open? It is. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. <clears throat> I mean, it's just, it's not, the kids loved it. And, you know, but it's, the food was just not mm-hmm. even great, not even good. Um, we ate it. I mean, I'm sure I ate everything on my plate. You know, I've seen pictures. I was, you know, I was, I was, um, I was hungry back then, but um, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't great. Yeah. It's like a cheap Bennigan's. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, I miss true. Bennigan's. I miss Bennigan's. I, I do too. Well. Turkey O'Toole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Monte Cristo. Sandwich. Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of not health right mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So good though. Oh man. Yeah. I well, yeah, obviously. Okay. Do so share, uh, share any other ones now or just that one? Just the one. Yeah, if you got more yeah. for magic. Uh, so, look, Lonnie, don't hate me. I think you like this place, but Santuli, I just I it might be because of the hype, you know. Um, but it just it did not live up to it to me. And I look, John, am I looking at you or are you disagreeing with me? Dude, you cleaned your plate. You literally cleaned <laughs> your always, plate, dude. And always, there was nothing look, left. Look, you look said it was good. Yeah. Look you said me. it was good. I think most of us would clean our plate regardless yeah, of the right. high quality. I mean, that's, no, yeah, that's he said but it was I'm good. just saying. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. Right. I was caught up in the moment, Lonnie. Um, <laughs> I think probably it's 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 about hype, you know, there's a lot yeah. of hype around it. Fair. I'm not saying it was you. I'm saying someone hyped it up. And I don't know that it lived up to that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. What did you get? I don't I don't even remember. Some stuff. He got, he got some the bowl. Some stuff in a Actually, bowl. 
He had some stuff in a bowl. Yeah. And he had the cheeseburger pots, which he said he liked those too. No, I like those. Those are good. Those are good. But that didn't make a meal, you know? Could have had enough. There's a lot. There's a lot. Well, yeah. There was a lot of hype to live up to with that. Mm. Okay. That's fair when you talk about like the level of hype that somewhere gets yeah, because that's what it is. that raises the bar. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, okay. So let's see. Anybody else? Animal Kingdom. Yep. Oh, Tiffins. Boom. Really? I got oh. Tiffins too. I do. thought it was, there. It's, it's a signature. It's not only a, the table service, but it's a signature restaurant. And we all walked out of there thinking it was awful. We did not wow. like it. Tiffin's so only, not the Nomad Lounge, correct? Yeah, Just correct. Tiffin. I was going to say, do they share a kitchen? Because the Nomad Lounge has such good food and like all they their do. snacks and appetizers, or whatever, are delicious. Yeah, they just not, a fan, not a fan of Tiffin's. Wow. Okay. Darn. That's disappointing. I think at Nomad really Lounge, they probably send the best stuff from it. Like it's the best appetizers, right? And they use that. Mm. Yeah. Because and usually you're yeah. getting appetizers and drinks. And that's why I think, like with Tiffin's, I was like, this is just, mm-mm. no. Wow. That stinks, man. Okay. Um, any other ones for Animal Kingdom? All right. Let's go just anywhere outside the parks. Um, uh, so let's go for, with Lonnie. Yeah. For Disney Springs, I have overrated Deluxe Burger. <gasps> I have an underrated. Everybody underrated. talks about it. Everybody talks about it. I think it's overrated. I went there. My burger wasn't cooked well like I wanted it. Um, I, I, I actually ate that three times. And every time it was bad. So I did finally I was like, you know what? It's not you, Deluxe Burger. It's me, because I keep coming back. So I'm done with you. So Deluxe Burger, bad. Not going there anymore. Wow. And see, I think it's underrated. Um, but also it's one of the few places I can actually get a real burger and eat it without getting sick. So I think that probably plays into it too. But yeah, I I everything I've had from there I've loved. That's crazy. We just hmm. on the opposite end of the spectrum, John. That's so, all. Apparently, yeah. we can't go eat together. I we could we could go to Plate Pig. I, boom, that's my that's my underrated. Yep. So yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Um, yeah. So uh, we can find common ground. Um, I eat a, I eat enough that yeah I can find that with anyone. <laughs> what else do we got outside of of the parks? I've got two for Disney Springs. I have um Earl a sandwich. I tried the famous <clears throat> turkey sandwich and i was like i kept looking inside of it thinking i must be missing an ingredient that everyone talks about everyone has just said it's so great and i was like wow it's McAllister's makes a better sandwich than earl sandwich so i just thought it was incredibly okay um and also at disney springs i think morimoto asia is overrated um i that not the sticky wings or sticky ribs those are good um, but the actual restaurant, it's really expensive. And um, the su- like our sushi roll like fell apart. S- good sushi should not, you know, you should pick it up and should stay together. So um, those were my two for the springs. Hmm. Wow. I'm going to take a lot of hate mail, but remember my criteria is hard to get into, but not worth it for me. Right, right, right. I think Raglan Road's overrated. Um, that's a very hard reservation to get into. Um, I love the dancing. I love the entertainment side of it. But the food for me just kind of hit and miss. We've done it several times, and it's just, eh. So yeah, I I thought it was okay, but my thing with it was I could have the fish and chips and the onion rings, and you know even if they weren't as good as they could have been, it's still pretty <laughs> solid for me. So that kind of throws me a little bit more in the other direction. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't what I expected. Hmm. All right. Um. Anything else at the springs that you guys have? All right. What about resorts? All right. I got one at the resorts. Um, I This is one I think a lot of people really like, and I absolutely did not. Um, Whispering Canyon. The antics that go on in that place during <clears throat> breakfast are unacceptable, and I do not <laughs> want a million bottles of ketchup. It's just not a thing I like being the center of attention in that way. Um, you know, I the food was okay. I mean, it wasn't great it wasn't terrible right it was typical you know family style breakfast food at disney um but yeah i just i could not stand the atmosphere and the vibe in that place so we went there once and never again for me no other okay so no other resort once all right let's let's move on from that 
Yeah. Let's put that negativity in the past. Well, hey, one last thing. And this, I mean, this goes without saying, I mean, like the, just the, I don't even know what the official, what you call it, but like the cafe at the, we go for cheer for, and we stay at sports or whatever music or where, wherever we stay. And we're just kind of forced. We don't have the time. We, you know, we, you never know when practice is or you finish it. Or you can't, you, you don't, we don't, we don't even get tickets in time to get, you know, very many reservations. And so we end up eating every meal um, at the, you know, at the budget resort. economy value, value resort. And it just day one, it's okay. Day two, it's not as okay. Day three, it's terrible. And it's not necessarily terrible, but it's just after at that time, you know, you I don't want that pot roast, you know, there. I don't want, you know, I, the pizza's good. I like the pizza, but not, you know, there's only so much pizza. Here. Burger's fine. Yeah, at some point it's not. Right. But the Mickey waffles are always on point. So and anyway. honestly, some of those have a few unique menu items. Like I know in the pop century they had um like a barbecue jackfruit sandwich and it was that was actually really good and it wasn't something i expected at pop century's food court so yeah. i don't know just things like that that they, they that's where we stayed last and i don't i don't remember seeing that but that's yeah cool. i had it on marathon well this was a year and a half ago so or maybe you're making it up i don't know yeah. we'll, we'll, i could we'll be know. i could be you have no idea yeah um and neither do our listeners so we'll move along <laughs> um but yeah so we're moving on from the the negative we're gonna start focusing on the positive now so we're gonna start looking at what restaurants we think are underrated and people probably don't appreciate enough so uh, we'll go in the same order so we'll start in hollywood studios um does anybody have any at the studio at hollywood studios that they think is underrated I do. All right. Which one, Jody? Uh, Docking Bay 7. Mm. I think people don't go in there because that they make the names of the food there weird because they want to make it Star Wars-y, which is great. But if you like take the name away and see what the food is, it's actually really good. Now, put aside the actual chicken finger thing because that's silly and it's overpriced and what you get. I'm there two excellent things that are actually three things there that my family gets all the time that we love. There's a poke bowl there. That's delicious. Absolutely phenomenal. There's a impossible meatballs, um, like hummus thing. That's really, really good. And there's a really good salad. So I, you kind of see a theme with me. Like I can't do those heavy, greasy fried stuff in the theme parks, especially when it's hot out. It makes me feel gross. So poke bowls and, you know, hummus and salads and stuff that are fresh and made with good ingredients and taste light, that that's what I crave in the summertime when I'm hot. And I just think nobody talks about Docking Bay 7. Don't get the ribs and don't get the chicken. That's what people talk about. That's bad there. And that's not good. Go to the kind of more obscure items. And I'm telling you, it's really good. Plus, I love that outside eating area. It's I really, I love to be out in that area. So it's my, it's my I think a hidden gem in Hollywood studios and nobody talks about it. I, I, I have such respect for how you eat, you know, whenever you do something like that, you as well, John, I have a question. Lonnie, have you ever eaten a salad ever in your life on vacation? <laughs> I have not. I'm, only I'm not only if it came with the meal, like it's like, right. here it is. Right. And, it, and usually I, right. I would play with it. I wouldn't eat it, but yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just curious. Okay. I've never probably ever eaten a salad on vacation. I'm just, I'm just wondering. I when Jody can't. said, I don't like the greasy fried stuff, I was like, shoot, she don't like the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it like for dinner when I'm not going anyplace else, but in the middle of the day and it's 9 million degrees and I'm going to be out there for it, like, I, I can't do it. It, it just. I get it. Shoot. Like, I'll eat it. I'll be sweating grease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gravy behind my ears. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So, so I, I have something oh, for ahead, Hollywood Lonnie. Studios. I have I put Hollywood Brown Derby and it's it's for the what Jody kind of uh, hit on uh, earlier is sitting outside under the little covered part and being able to kind of just have a couple of drinks and watch people go by right I mean you you had a perfect place when you when you're there right you can see in front of the, uh, the the theater where sometimes they have some of these things going on uh, so I, I think it's it's underrated I really do. Interesting. Yeah, I need to try that lounge area because I think it that would make a big difference to me. Mm -hmm. um, I actually think ABC Commissary is underrated. 
Um, I think a lot of people think it's just, you know, another food court type of hot dog and burger place, but they actually, Jody, they have some of like the fresh items there too. Like they yeah. have a little hummus plate and stuff that we've gotten. They have a really good Mediterranean salad there. They do. That salad's great. Yeah. It's really good. Um, and they even have barbecue plates that I've got before with ribs and chicken that have been pretty good. So, you know, and it's reasonably priced and you can almost always get, um, a mobile order there. So we had the fish tacos or the shrimp tacos or some sort of that that were quite delicious there last time and they weren't it wasn't fried it was like grilled it was they were really good yeah that like we've never had a bad meal there mm -hmm. um so i really think people need to give that place a, a little bit more of a try yeah what is it the buffalo chicken sandwich grilled buffalo chicken sandwich is pretty good too I, I've heard uh, that. I, I do like that one there. Uh, I just don't like the name. You know, when you talk about commissary. I think about when Gene yeah. was doing a nickel and he asked me to put some money on his commissary. And so I don't like the name and, you know, about that because it just gives me bad vibes. But other than that, I think it's cool. Wasn't it a Diamond Sing Sing that he was doing? Oh, he did multiple. I know he did a nickel yeah. upstate, but, uh, you know, at Angola, but I don't know. Uh, upstate Angola. Um, oh, I just, do that okay. for the rodeo, just for the rodeo. <laughs> Enough about our criminal records. Um, let's take a walk over to Epcot then and see if does anybody have anything at Epcot they think is is really underrated? Yes, I think Garden Grill. You can, you, well, we couldn't get a reservation, but that was a system error, I think, not a reservation error. But we can almost always get into there. Food's consistent, nothing super fantastic. That's a character meal. They've come around a ton of times. It's almost too many times that they come around because mm -hmm. um, you get a little bit, okay, Mickey, we've seen you. Um, let's just let us eat now, but we love the food there. Um, the breakfast is now coming back as well. So that's exciting. I just, I think garden grill is an underrated character meal. All right. Yeah. And they do have a really cool breakfast and the characters are unique, right? It's like Mickey and his farm gear and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's pretty cool. Cause you don't see that out in the parks too often. You know, um, you know, what, uh, for the under over, I'm sorry, the underrated, um, I, I could probably have just written down what, I, what your favorite restaurants are, because I, I mean, you guys talk about them enough that, you know, that because you love them so much and I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, it's cool. That you What's like yours, Gene? Do you much. have an underrated for Epcot? Uh, for it's, I mean, it's just the one I love because, and nobody else lo loves it as much as I necessarily do. And so to me, that's underrated, but, um, Yorkshire County Fish Shop, you know. Oh, no. I thought I you were going to say Nine Dragons. No, that's um, a lot of Nine not, Dragons. I've not, I've I got not eaten it. I haven't eaten that. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so Lonnie, yeah, what is yours then? I have, I do have Nine Dragons because I, I think that place is great location. Get by the window at a good time. <clears> you can actually see, you know, you have great views. Uh, you can see the fireworks show uh, if you get there at night. So I love Nine Dragons, and I'm gonna give you another one, La Hacienda de San Angel. Now, yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to have to break out your phone for the flashlight to look at the menu <laughs> because it's so dark in there. But uh, when, when it's hot outside, you go in there. It's cool. Uh, I like the atmosphere. You see the mm -hmm. boats go by. Um, and I think the food's pretty good there. Hmm. All right. I've never you been jump on the boat. You can jump on the boat and see the three amigos, you know? The three I amigos? wish it was the three amigos. <laughs> the who? Gene? The who? Do you guys remember the Three Amigos? <laughs> well, we remember, but I'm just trying to see who Gene was talking about when you could see the Three Amigos. I'm like, who? Oh, come on. We all know it's the couple yet. Yeah, no, Gene. You know what I meant. You know what yeah. I meant, though. I knew where he was going. Kevin, which one does Keith Merton play? Amigos, Don't enable him. <laughs> Don't enable him. But. So, oh, it's no. okay when you make a mistake, but not me. Yeah. I see the double you standard. We need to bring the three amigos into the park. I don't know if Disney owns that IP, but if not, they should buy it because it's it's one of the funniest movies ever. <laughs> I mean, come on, Chevy Chase, Martin Short, and Steve Martin Steve as Martin. cowboys. It's amazing. It's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. So much so they made a ride about it on boats. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> you know what I meant. Don't <laughs> Wait, guys, we, all right, come on. We got we got a plethora of uh, restaurants to talk about here, so we got to move forward. Um, I'm gonna hey, John's go... no fun tonight. No, no doubt, man. Why, 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 so much fun. This is my this return, is John. You're just kind of bringing the whole thing down. Yeah, man. You guys need you guys need to focus here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, any other ones for Epcot that we think are are underrated? Nope. 
I think Beer Garden. I mean, I'm, I think a lot of people have some hate for that place, and I love it because it's entertaining for the kids. The food is, I mean, I like German food. Um, and they have the Schofferhofer that everybody loves. So what's not to love about this place? <sighs> Jeff's just... Jeff, I, I, I feel like I just the, the smell of sauerkraut just nauseates oh, me. Out. So I, I could eat sauerkraut into that restaurant. If I had sauerkraut every day, I would be very happy. Ooh. In a pierogi or with sausage, whatever. You know, Your family whatever. would hate you. Probably, but I mean, they might already anyway, man. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um. All right. So okay. So that's it for Epcot. What about going over to Magic Kingdom? Are there any that you guys think are underrated over there? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, Jody, what do you got? Mm-hmm. Jungle Navigation Company Skipper Canteen. That's on my list, too. Me, too. That place is mm-hmm. great, and no one goes there, and I don't get it. Like, the food in Magic Kingdom is blech. There's not a lot mm-hmm. of good food yeah. at all, and that place is delicious. I love it. I love mm-hmm. it. I don't understand yeah. how no one goes there. And the ambiance in there mm-hmm. is amazing. It's so cool. They have all kind of like hidden things with books and stuff in there. Um, and yeah, like you said, it's not bland. It's got some flavor. It's made very well. I, I just, I really, that was on my list too. Cause I feel like um, even in busy times, you can walk up there and usually get in pretty quickly without a reservation, yep. which is crazy. Yep. So yeah, I, Jody, I think that was a really good one. All right. Any other ones for Magic Kingdom? Uh, I got a couple actually. Oh, all right. What do we got? James? I like I like Casey's Corner. Don't laugh, you know, but um, but it's good. It, you know, hot dog right there when you come in. If you've been to yeah. another park and you walk in, you want you know, hot dog. Might maybe not a meal, you know. And it, it, every time I've ever been, it's been a wait. But it was a meal, but um, could be just a snack, you know. I enjoy it. It's good to me. Okay, that's fair. I mean, everybody likes a good hot dog. So chili, you know, chili I, dog too, man. It's not just a hot dog. It's we're a chili dog. Full circle on this hot right. dog. So <laughs> here's what we here's what we need to do though, Gene. If you like chili dogs, you need to come visit me up here in Detroit. We have a couple places downtown that are absolutely amazing. Oh my yeah. god. Um, yeah, that's a coney. Can, Is that a coney? Like a yeah, American Coney Island yeah. and Lafayette right. Coney. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh. man. Okay. Uh, we kind of went off a little bit there, but um, any other ones for for Magic Kingdom? I have another one. Okay. Um, what do you got? So pineapple and I, it's just a snack. It's not really a restaurant, I guess. I don't know if that, if we're counting that, but nice and refreshing, you know, I've only had a Dole Whip uh, for the first time last year um, <clears throat> with Lonnie and then got one with my family. And so that's pretty, pretty great to me. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I love the Dole Whips and they have some of the unique flavors once in a while too, like mm-hmm, lime mm-hmm. or, you know, mm-hmm bunch of different stuff so yeah yeah. all right magic kingdom uh we're moving on from then okay let's go over to uh what's left animal kingdom anybody have any underrated in animal kingdom i have nomad lounge as an underrated um i think love sitting out there uh under the ceiling fans uh watching the flotillas uh, go by uh the advertisers are really really good uh so i think that's you know, I know sometimes people kind of get it confused and, and you walk up, you can't get reservations. So they'd be like, oh, I'm not going to wait. But if you catch it just right, uh, I think it's a great experience. Yeah, I, I agree. off my list because I think it's properly rated just because you can get it's usually fairly busy. So mm-hmm. it's not something that you can just walk into at any time. So but but yeah, I, I think that a lot of people don't know it's there. And it's kind of a hidden gem. But I think I, I, I'd struggle to say it's underrated for the people who know it's there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have a problem That's with a Animal Kingdom it. where I think yeah. the food I, I think I've said this before I think the food at Animal Kingdom Park is the best of all four parks even better than Epcot I really do I think that their food is just fantastic so saying that something is underrated means that like <coughs> you know I think it's I think all of it's good but I think um, I was surprised at how good the Yak and Yeti not the sit down, but the, the quick little service. quick service window was. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had a breakfast item there and a lunch item there, or maybe a snack item, I guess I'd call it. But I was pleasantly surprised both times with, with the flavor of that food and, and <clears throat> what it was for a quick service location. And it's not 
expensive, which is also lovely. Um, so I'd say maybe that's underrated. And the problem, again, everybody talks about Flame Tree, Flame Tree everybody talks about Satui, everybody talks about Tusker House, and those are all fantastic. But um, I think that little, if you need something quick, if the lines are too long someplace else, or if you're just walking past it and need a little snacky snack, there you go, yak and yeti. The, not the, <clears throat> down, the little quick service window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the right. sit down is, is on my list. Uh, it is for my family. We always, always, always stop there and we have a, we, we have a meal there. Uh, my, my wife and especially my daughter love it. And so, you know, it's good. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. I've never been there and I don't know why we always go to Tusker house and and that's usually our, our sit down meal when we're at animal kingdom. And, and I love it, but um, I do want to try yak and yeti. All right. Um, any others for animal kingdom? Okay, let's um, go to the Springs. I know, does anybody have one at the Springs that's underrated? All right, I what do you got, Jeff? Paddlefish. You can always get into Paddlefish. Their reservations are open 24-7, and you can walk in whenever. And uh -huh. I had fantastic meals there. Um, the shrimp and grits were there. Riley loves the um, mahi-mahi is very good there. Um, we've heard that the um, fried green tomatoes are good. The desserts were good. And mm -hmm. like I said, you can always get into that place. So I think it's very underrated. All right. That's another place I've never been. I got to check out a lot of these. Um, I was going to say Splitsville because I, I no. expected, I had zero expectations when we went there and um, we went for lunch. And so we didn't do the bowling and everything, but I got sushi roll. It was actually really good. Um, my kids got pizza. That was really good. It, it was just all, the, the whole experience. The service was amazing. The, they had a really good drink menu and the food was, was really good. And there's always reservations open for that place. So um, yeah, that's mine. Anybody else got one? Nothing well, I mean, else. Uh, so, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I said, you know, I, I think it's, it's hard because a lot of restaurants there, I think they get the, mm -hmm. the you know, the, they get the recognition that they, that they deserve. Uh, you guys know I'm a fan of flight pig. I don't think it's underrated. I think it, now everybody kind of sees Flight Pig for what it is, which is right. a great restaurant. Um, but I also had Spitzville because, and, and of all <clears> things <throat> at Spitzville, the, the sushi is pretty good. Right? Yeah, isn't that weird? There, yeah, it's for, for sushi, right? So uh, so I had sushi, and I'm just going to put Flight Pig. Hmm. All right. Um, I still have to go to Flight Pig. I feel like I would love it, and I just haven't haven't been able to go yet. Hmm. All right. Um Anything else for Disney Springs then? Okay. Well, I had Deluxe Burger on mine as an underrated one, actually. So, um, but no, I just, I, I really like it. I've had a lot of their different sauces and stuff with the fries. Those are all good. And, and their burgers and chicken sandwiches and stuff are good to me. So I, I think that one, but I, I think based on what Jeff said earlier, it probably is properly rated though. Cause I think a lot of people give that place some love. Um, all right, so going out to resorts, this is where I have quite a few. Does anybody else have some? I have a lot right. for resorts. Okay, sure. Jody, do we? Okay, let's start with like the Magic Kingdom resorts then, um, and we can kind of go through maybe that way. I don't know. Or okay, Jody, just give us one. Because I'm like going through my. Um... No. Oh, you have to scroll. Oh, okay. So uh, uh, Magic Kingdom <laughs> resorts that I think there I do. Is. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through. A Magic Kingdom resort that I think is um, underrated and easy to get into and we had a great meal there was Grand Floridian Cafe. So everybody talks about Narcoosies, everybody talks about Citrico, everybody tries to go to 1900 Park there when it's open. Um, but Grand Floridian Cafe puts out some solid food at a very reasonable prices and you can get in there and have a nice meal. So that's my underrated in the um, Magic Kingdom area. Yeah, and Jody, I had that on my list too because we've had several meals there probably well maybe not, three or four times so we've been there and the food has always been amazing um and the service is really good and we just you know it's it's always an enjoyable experience um and like you said it's really not overly priced like some of the other places in that in that resort so hmm. all right um anyone else with magic kingdom area resorts okay i have two um one is steakhouse 71 um, I feel like, you know, it got a lot of attention when it first opened. And then I feel like people don't talk about it that much anymore. But the two times I've been there, it's been 
just amazing meals. Um, when Jeff, when I met you guys there, mm -hmm. I had like a shrimp dish that was just awesome. And then I went there for breakfast mm -hmm. and their gluten-free breakfast options were amazing. It was so good. Um, I got eggs Benedict there, which I, one of my favorite food items in life. Um, so yeah, I feel like that place probably needs to get a little bit more, um, more love from, from the Disney fan community. So it's good. I got that one. And then, oh, my other one is also at another uh, Magic Kingdom area resort. If we go over to Wilderness Lodge, um, I actually think their quick service Roaring Fork is underrated. Um, their food there is actually pretty good. And sometimes they have some unique options and stuff. Um, but yeah, we've never really had any issues with with the food at Roaring Fork and actually kind of look forward to it because it's it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I agree. I like Roaring Forks. Um, it, it's, Yeah. I think I, I mentioned last time I went, I, we ate there and got some breakfast from there. And it was actually really, really good. Right. I mean, and of course, you say, well, how can you mess up breakfast? You can mess up breakfast. It, it was good. I like the ambiance there. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a, that's a pretty good one. All right. Anybody else? Magic Kingdom area? OK. Um, all right. So let's go over to like uh, the Crescent Lake Boardwalk. Area. Ah, I know that Just area. for Gene. Yeah. You know that area well. Um, do you guys have anything over there that you think is uh, underrated? I think for breakfast, Ale and Compass is very underrated. You can always get a reservation there. It is great food. Always had great company whenever I'm there. And it's just a great place to sit and relax and have a really good meal. Very reasonable price, especially for breakfast. I can't speak to the dinner or lunch, but it's a great breakfast for a great price. And you can always get in. Hmm. Yeah. I can't think of there ever being a, a better breakfast anywhere else ever. It's amazing. Wow. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good breakfast. I mean, it, it really is. They do a great job. Uh, shrimp and grits, great. The, the pancakes, great. Uh, it's around so Gene's favorite part, Crescent Lake, great. Yeah. I mean, so it's just it's a lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Can we work? That was a happier time before I got sick. So going there was actually a good time. <laughs> All right. Um, any other ones for, for the boardwalk area, Crescent Lake region? Not for that area. No. Gene, you have I'm other ones? Okay. I mean, there's a ton there, but no, I'm good. They're all they're okay. all adequately rated. Can I add Big oh, River Grill under there, John? Which Big one? River Grill over to boardwalk is oh. very rarely ever spoke of. It's nothing overly special, but you can get into there. The food's very reasonably priced compared to a lot of the other restaurants. And it's, it's, it's kind of like an Applebee's, I'd guess. Um, you can equate it to, but sometimes you kind of get tired of some of the Disney price foods. And this is just kind of something different to have that's a little bit more normal without breaking the wallet. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that's one I've never been to either. And it, I mean, it seems like they have a pretty decent menu and mm -hmm. like you can find something on it and that type of thing. Hmm. All right. Um, okay. So let's head up the Saskaluga, Saskaluga River. Saskaluga. Sasagula, yeah, that's what I said. Um, the Sasagula River, and um, see if there's any resorts along there. You know, is so looking at like uh, what's over there, Saratoga Springs, and the two Port Orleans resorts. Um, <clears throat> anything in in those areas? I'm gonna go with the quick service at French Quarter um, because they mm -hmm. have beignets and they're delicious and the, like at lunch and dinner they usually have some pretty good options like um like a shrimp po' boy or something like that that's um kind of brings in i don't know if it's real creole food gene or lonnie but um you know <laughs> brings in some new flavors for me and it's it's usually like shrimp based which i love so shrimp po' boy i'm gonna go with that, that place what i mean it's a shrimp on bread oh okay no <laughs> Man, you guys, make the you guys don't eat. You guys don't know what Creole food is, right? <laughs> they make the gluten-free beignets for you, John. There, yeah, they do, and it's it's amazing. Yeah, man, I just I wish Gene, you had a better appreciation of the the Cajun food and the Louisiana food. I try, I try, <laughs> I try. Yeah, that, uh, that that's battered, authentic. That bagged, battered, frozen shrimp. Yeah, <laughs> when it's out of a cool boy, and like, yeah, look, I eat. <laughs> That's what makes it authentic. Somebody in the back saying, "Hey, yeah." <laughs> oh man! All right. Um, okay. So, anything over? Let's see. What other areas do we have to cover? Animal Kingdom. Uh, anybody have one there? I do. Right. 
What do you got, Jody? Jico. Uh, Jico is by mm -hmm. far one of my favorite meals. It, when you talk about signature restaurants, everybody talks about like California Grill and Topolino's and Citrico's. Hardly anyone talks about Jico. And the, the I think Jico's problem is because it has Sanaa and Boma also right there. And so people tend to go to one of those two because those are really strong restaurants. But if you're looking for an amazing experience, G I would I would skip one of the other two and go to Jico if you want a really fantastic meal. It, it's blown me away every time I've been there. That's been on my list to try that filet and macaroni and cheese for a long time. It's just we've never made it over to do it, but it's on my yeah. list. It's not cheap because <laughs> it's a signature dining reservation. But I, again, I just don't think people talk about it because they talk about all the other places. And <clears throat> and I'm I love Jico. Absolutely love it. Did you say Jeff filet of macaroni and cheese? Filet and macaroni and cheese. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, and if you're a wine drinker, I think Chico has like the best selection of African wines. You know, it's and John, the fact that I, I didn't have anything to say in regards to the Animal Kingdom area, because literally I don't think they're underrated. Those three restaurants there are phenomenal, right? I mean, they just are. Uh, I think that's to me the best collection of restaurants in a a resort. They just they just are. Even for breakfast, they got they got some there each time, right? I mean, Boma, you go if you want the buffet, great breakfast there. Uh, you know, Sanaa, you can do it here. I mean, you can do everything there, right? So, um, not that we're just saying it's it's underrated. I think it gets the praise it deserves because a lot of people feel that's the best resort fee. Yeah, and I, I I the only one I've been to is Sanaa, but I've loved it every time we've gone there. Just the flavors mm -hmm. and the food. Mm -hmm. and they have some unique drinks too there. It's just it's a great place. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And you can see giraffes, which my favorite animal. Yeah. And All if right. you don't have a reservation for Sanaa, you can actually go into the bar that doesn't require reservations and they have tables there as well. Yep. Uh, so you can hop in there and get something too. We were we were able to get in there with literally, I think there was like a they said it was a two hour wait. One time we went, we just popped up there. Uh, I looked in the bar. All the tables were empty. I was like, I'll just go in the bar. And he's like, oh, yeah, open seat. And then everybody else was like, well, can we go with him? I'm like, yeah, come on in. Not at my table, but come on in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So going then, just any other resorts or anywhere else on property, does anybody have any other ones that they think are, are underrated? I do. All right. What do you got, Jody? So I have two at the same time. What? Toledo. Toledo being one of them, which just got a Michelin star. So there it we did? go. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I also think Three Bridges at Coronado is also really fantastic. And I am going to follow my sword and say that it's the best burger on property. Um, there, That burger with the Spanish cheese on top of it, it's just phenomenal. And and I don't normally, I don't, I'm not a it's got to be a really darn good burger for me to like it because I make pretty darn good burgers, but it's, it's really good. So I've got two at Coronado, believe it or not. And to the, like, I, I think again, both of them are not expensive. Coronado is one of those walk up on the app. Like they don't take reservations. So that's my only problem with three bridges is, um, is you can't make a reservation there, but if you hit it at the right time, you're going to, you're going to be able to get in there. So those are my two. I know you were shocked, Jeff, right? Right. All right. Any any of you guys, other guys, have um, have any restaurants outside of the resorts we've already discussed? No? Mm -mm. All right. Well, I think that was a really good discussion about a lot of the different restaurants. Mm -hmm. I mean, we touched on a lot of different places during that um that discussion there. So, uh, you know, if you guys have questions on on any of the restaurants on property, um, post your questions in the Disney with the Ducks Facebook group, and we can have some of us or the community um, give you kind of some some answers to your questions you might have about any of the dining around property. Um, and with that, we can wrap up that discussion and really head into what the people are here for, mm -hmm. the comedy. Um, you know, Jeff, uh, you're the guest of honor tonight as your first night back. So why don't why don't you start us off? You're I've been here, saving right? up for stuff, John, for weeks. I, <laughs> my, my list is like this is huge, but a lot of you know that I've kind of been out sick here for a while. Um, a lot of doctors' appointments, things like that. And me and Rai were talking the other day about just different doctors and stuff. And so you know, one of the famous doctors out there is Dr. Pepper. And she said, "Well, what kind of doctor is Dr. Pepper?" I said, "A physician, 
Oh, <laughs> oh man. Good lord. <sighs> Welcome good. back. <laughs> Uh, obviously, your gig on Saturday Night Live did not last. No. <laughs> yeah. Too bad. Um, all right, Jody, what, what do you got? Well, you know, we've been talking about food all night, so I'm pretty hungry. So um, how does a cucumber become a pickle? It goes through a jarring experience. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's not getting that one. <laughs> or he's frozen one or the other. <laughs> Oh man! All right, uh, that's good. That's actually good. Yeah, it was good. Lonnie, what do you, what do you got? So, uh, hey guys, why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? Mm. She oh, wait, kept I running know away this from one. the ball. Yep. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. I knew that one. Good one. Jean. Do you have anything fun going on? No, I mean I don't. I don't have a joke. But all this talk about restaurants it just reminds me that Christy and I we we had not we've not gone out to eat a lot lately, and we decided to go, we go to our favorite restaurant. It was so busy. We walked in and um, when when we went to go check in, the guy said, "Do you, you know? I hope you don't mind. You know, but can, do you mind waiting?" And I said, "No, not at all." And I said, "Okay, can you take these drinks to table seven? <laughs> 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 Oh man! Oh boy! Um, I don't know if the man. people still want this. <laughs> I know we want to get the people what they want, but I don't know. I think they do. I think they do. Um, yeah. So this morning, Siri said, "Don't call me Shirley." I had accidentally left my phone in airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a good one. That's a good, that's, good, that's good movie good. and a good joke. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for sticking with us this long tonight as we talk through some of our restaurants we really like and ones we think need more love and, and some that we think uh, probably get a little bit more than they deserve. Um, but come on over to the Ducks Facebook page and talk about some of, uh, you know, do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Um, leave some leave some comments about some of your restaurants that you think are overrated or underrated. Um, and you can do that at Disney with the Ducks on Facebook um, or at Disney with the D1 on Twitter and probably on Instagram, I think too, is Disney with the Ducks. So any of these places, uh, but also make sure you're going out and giving us a five-star review as well um, on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, wherever you're you're listening to your podcasts from, because the five stars will help uh, help you really uh, as a listener. It'll it'll bring more into our community and provide more value back to, to you through the others in the community. Really, it's an act of self-love giving us five stars because it'll help bring more people into that community. Um, so, yeah, go out and give us five stars and tell us what you love about the show so that we can feel much better about ourselves uh, tonight. Um, but with that, uh, I'll just say Quaharini. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Thanks, everybody. Bye, friends. <clears throat>